Adjectives and adverbs are great for adding detail to your story, but what if you want to talk about how one person, idea or thing compares to another one? This is where the comparative structure comes into play. We use comparisons to provide richer detail and more context for the listener or reader. As always, there is a free PDF that goes with today's lesson. It's got all of the notes from the lesson and very clear visual tables. And I've also included a quiz so that you can put what you've learnt into practice. If you would like to download this free PDF, all you've got to do is click on the link in the description box. You enter your name and your email address. You sign up to my mailing list and the PDF will arrive directly in your inbox. After that, you've joined the PDF club. You will automatically receive my free lesson PDFs along with all of my news, updates and offers. You can unsubscribe at any time. Today, we're going to discuss comparative and superlative adjectives. You likely already know that adjectives and adverbs modify nouns and verbs and it's possible to make comparative sentences simply using an adjective or adverb using the as, as or not as, as pattern. For example, she is as pretty as her mother or the test was not as easy as I thought. But today's lesson will focus on making comparisons using comparative and superlative adjectives. Comparatives and superlatives for short. A comparative is used to compare two nouns. Words like faster, slower, shorter, smaller. Notice that comparatives often end in er, a, uh, but not always. A superlative is used to compare three or more objects that are at the upper and lower limits of quality. Words like the fastest, the slowest, the shortest, the smallest. Notice the word the comes before the superlative. Now that you understand the differences between comparatives and superlatives, let's look at a few important rules to follow when making comparisons. Let's start by learning how to form a comparative sentence. They follow this pattern. Noun, subject, plus verb, plus comparative adjective, plus than, plus noun, object. We must use the word than after the comparative adjective in comparative sentences like she is shorter than Lisa. Our car is faster than his. The pattern for writing a superlative sentence is a bit different. The pattern is subject noun plus verb plus the plus superlative adjective plus the object noun. We omit than but place the before the superlative adjective. For example, she is the shortest in the class or our car is the fastest in town. Now, forming regular comparatives and superlatives is fairly easy. Let's look at a few rules. For one syllable adjectives, we add ER to comparatives and EST to superlatives. Large, larger, largest. Old, older, oldest. Notice with the superlatives, I'm not saying est, oldest, I'm saying ist, oldest. An example, it was the largest house we had ever seen. Adjectives that follow the consonant plus single vowel plus consonant pattern must double the final consonant. That sounds complicated, but you'll see it and it will become clear. Sad, sadder, saddest, fat, fatter, fattest. Do you see what I mean there? Consonant, vowel, consonant, we double the final consonant to make comparatives and superlatives. An example, your cat is much fatter than last time. Now let's talk about most two-syllable words. 
Not all of them, there are always exceptions, but most of them. Most two-syllable comparatives will add more or less, and the superlatives will add most or least. Thoughtful, more thoughtful or less thoughtful, and most thoughtful or least thoughtful. Pleasant, more or less pleasant, most or least pleasant. We don't say pleasanter or pleasantest. An example, we have the most thoughtful neighbours in this neighbourhood. There are other two-syllable adjectives. What about the ones that end in Y? If a two-syllable adjective ends in Y, we remove the Y, we change it to I, and we add ER in the comparative form and EST in the superlative form. Happy, happier, happiest. Hungry, hungrier, hungriest. An example, nobody is hungrier than Carl after a cricket match. We have some other two-syllable adjectives. We have some ending with OR or OW, which are treated like regular comparatives and superlatives. We add ER to the comparatives and EST to the superlatives. Narrow, narrower, narrowest. Poor, poorer, poorest. They took us on the narrowest bridge. We have adverbs ending in LY. Adverbs that end in LY receive more or less in the comparative form and most or least in the superlative form. Slowly, more or less slowly, most or least slowly. Lively, more or less lively, most or least lively. An example, Georgie drives the most slowly out of the people in my family. You could also say Georgie drives the slowest out of the people in my family. Now this is where it gets a bit tricky. Some adjectives can be correct in either form. Let's look at a few examples. Friendly. This can be friendlier or more friendly or less friendly. It can be friendliest or most or least friendly. Simple is the same. Simple, simpler, simplest or simple, more less simple, most least simple. The same goes for clever. Cleverer or cleverest or more or less clever or most or least clever. An example, that was simpler than I expected or that was more simple than I expected. There are of course some irregular adjectives that don't follow any rule. These need to be memorised which comes with practice. For example, bad, worse, worst. Good, better, best. Little, less, least. Far, farther, farthest or far, further, furthest. Further and furthest is more common in British English and farther and farthest is more common in American English. It's important that you recognise both. An example, my experience at that restaurant was the worst I had my entire trip. Right, that's it from me today. I hope you enjoyed this lesson and I hope you learnt something. Don't forget that there is a full lesson PDF for free with a quiz. You can put what you've learnt into practice. If you'd like to download that, just click on the link in the description box and you sign up to my mailing list. The PDF will be sent directly to your inbox. Don't forget to connect with me on all of my social media. I've got my Instagram, English with Lucy. I've also got my website where I've got a fantastic interactive pronunciation tool. If you want to improve your pronunciation, this is perfect. You can see every single phoneme and you can click on the phonemes and hear how they're pronounced and hear me say a word containing those phonemes. The link's down below, play around with it, it's really useful. If you would like to improve your listening skills and your vocabulary skills, I've also got my vlogging channel. I document my life here in the English countryside, but the important part is that every vlog is fully subtitled, so you can use it for listening practice and you can use it to expand your vocabulary. I will see you soon for another lesson. Bye!